Good morning, my darlings. Welcome to a brand new vlog. I can tell you from the word go, I'm going to be in an excellent <laughs> mood today. And um, that is down to a variety of factors. Number one, it's a really lovely day today. Hallelujah. We finally have sunshine. It is bloom and nippy, but it's blue skies, which always makes my mood go much better. And number two, the big one, by the time you're watching this, Charlie and I will be on our honeymoon. And in fact, we'll be on our way at the end of this vlog. So today's gonna be a great day. I've got some bits and bobs which I've been manically ordering um, for like last minute outfits, bikinis, beach accessories. So I can't wait to undo those and try them on and share that with you. And I'm also having such a pamper. I've got a lady from the Lucy app, which is kind of like the Cotswolds version of Ruby. And so many therapists are going independent and working for themselves. So I've got a lady named Ellie coming over to do a mani and a pedi later on. And I've just done the everything shower, full on exfoliation and shaving in preparation for fake tanning tonight. So I'll have another shower to wash off my body moisturizer um, because you shouldn't actually fake tan straight after exfoliating and shaving. So I like to do the pamper everything shower in the morning and then fake tan after another shower in the evening. Not that anybody asked for my fake tan routine, but there we go. But actually I've had a few questions on my fake tan routine lately and um, I did a video about two or three years ago and it's literally, the whole video is my tanning routine and nothing has really changed. I do switch up the products a little bit. Um, I'm enjoying the black and white Saint-Tropez. I'm enjoying um, the ultra dark Bondi Sands, but the routine and the tips, that video is essential watching. So I'll leave that link down below. But yeah, so today is just like last minute prep getting work hopefully tied up so that I can relax as much as possible. Of course, I will have to still do a little bit of work while we're away because the joy of being self-employed, um, but mostly pampering. And yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a great day. Hopefully have some time to get outside today as well because it's so glorious. And um, what podcast was I listening to yesterday? I can't remember, but they were talking about microgreens in that podcast and um it reminded me of it was this time last year that my obsession with microgreens <laughs> began it actually began in the maldives because the island that we're going back to that we were at last january they had an amazing kitchen garden and they were growing microgreens and i was asking them all about them and they were saying how much goodness you get in such a tiny tiny amount of um greenery it's essentially the, the first little shoot that first bit if you plant like broccoli seeds or rocket seeds or beetroot seeds that first little shoot that comes out the ground i'll pop a photo of microgreens on the screen here they are so good for you that little bit is just packed full of goodness but they do take a little while to germinate especially when it's cold so i thought if i do a load today it'll take me only 10 minutes and hopefully they might have started germinated germinating by the time we get back from our holiday so that is the plan um i've done this morning my vitamin c and my eye cream and as you may have seen i used my roller which was one of my new year's intentions to remember to just have that little bit of pampering moments in my morning and sometimes i just focus on the jaw and here i don't really do too much elsewhere and it just instantly makes my face feel so much more like alert if it's possible for a face to feel alert but speaking of skincare i have wonderful news to finally share with you and that is that i can finally confirm my discount yay for allies of skin which is josie ldn 20 percent off site wide which is absolutely incredible plus with the purchase of the gf serum which We've got um, Lala coming over for dinner later, and she is, without doubt, the world's biggest GF Serum super fan. She has, in a previous video, and maybe we'll chat through them again a little bit later, um, shared the most insane before and afters for skin texture and um, wrinkle improvement. With the purchase of that, 
with my code you'll also get a free deluxe sample of the daily treatment which is my absolute favorite so this is the peptide and antioxidant firming daily treatment this is actually the allies of skin best seller global best seller and for good reason i like to pop that was only three four pumps on it's just the most gorgeous light creamy texture seven brighteners eight antioxidants seven peptides and te te tepranone <laughs> which i always struggle to pronounce this is what I love about Allies of Skin. They just pack so much goodness into their products. If you want to keep your skincare routine simple but mega effective, then Allies of Skin are your best allies when it comes to that. As you might be able to guess from that list of ingredients, list of benefits that I just listed out, this will give you bright, hydrated and firmed skin. People notice an increase in the skin firmness from the very first use. I just love the texture and how this feels on the skin. And I personally notice that my skin looks brighter, not only from the minute that I apply it, but also that brightness and that kind of healthy glow from within. Literally for me, I find lasts all day. Under my makeup, you just radiate health from underneath with this moisturizer. I could not love it anymore. I think this is a really good time of year to discover this as well. If you, if your skin is showing signs of stress, if it's looking a little bit dull, then this is the shake-up that your skin will be very, very thankful to you for. So I apply it on my face and on my neck, just avoiding the eye area. So I would so highly recommend adding one of those into your basket and making the most of the discount code. If you are making an Allies of Skin order, no surprise that I would also recommend adding in one of my absolute favorite lip balms. This is the Peptide and Ceramide Lip Balm. I have these all over the house in every handbag in my car because I love them. It actually repairs your lips as well as instant hydration instead of just you know, your lips feel great when you're wearing it, but then when it wears off, they feel dry again. This actually repairs your lips, just like this is repairing the skin. You've got the peptides within the formula, which are just fantastic at getting the skin cells to do their job properly. So holding on to moisture, which is fantastic for um, the appearance of fine lines. Allies of Skin have got your back covered when it comes to multitasking products for amazing anti-aging, super hydration. Just, I feel like... I could just sing their praises all day long but yes i know i've been mentioning this in pretty much every video lately because i am obsessed so i'm really thrilled to be able to share that epic discount code with you guys and it's just the perfect perfect time to give it a try you will have seen i also used my allies of skin vitamin c this morning it's a super strength one works really well when your skin is actually wet um so i definitely recommend that and as I mentioned, I will ask Lala to share her glowing review, literally her skin is glowing and her review is glowing of the GF serum again, because that is definitely one to add to your basket. My goodness, it is like Paddington Station here today. There are so many vehicles coming and going. Charlie's actually got his hairdresser to come to the house um, to do his pre-holiday haircut. That man is the most pampered pooch on the entire planet. It is hilarious. Right, oh, I need to actually pack this. Honestly, sunlight just makes everything so much better. It's just like, oh, okay, <laughs> that's a really bad example. It's just wispy clouds. That doesn't even look that sunny, but I assure you it is. I wanted to give a shout out to my dried hydrangeas because these have just been lasting so well. I put these in in November. Dried flowers are an absolute savior during the winter months because as you know, in summer I love to go outside and pick fresh blooms and bring them in, but that's just not possible at this time of year. I'll show you what the garden looks like later on today when we head out. Could probably ditch the snowberries. Yep, they are looking very shriveled. Actually, that's a two-hand um, job to do. I'll do that gently later. But um, they've just dried out so, so well. Even the lighter ones, which is actually quite rare because darker ones you're a little bit more guaranteed good results but lighter colored hydrangeas can be a bit more temperamental and i've also put in some twisted willow 
I know I showed you this months ago, but I just wanted to show you how they look now that they're completely dry. Obviously, zero maintenance now, but the tip to do it, number one, choose darker hydrangeas. This colour is actually called an antique hydrangea. I love it because you've got that contrast of the light green inside. The burgundy tips, because... Um, yeah, darker ones tend to dry out much better. White ones, blue ones, pink ones don't really dry out that well at all. They just really shrivel up. If you think that's slightly shriveled, then yeah, white and light colours just don't do well. What you want to do is trim the stem of them as you would any flower, pop them in some water. And then I would say every three to four days, just really tinily trim the bottom again for about two weeks. Keep doing that every three or four days so that they can really slowly and gradually dry out. And then once they start to feel and sound crispy, that's when you can just stop with the water. And yeah, two weeks of a little bit of maintenance and you've got eternal dried flowers. We replace them maybe like once a year. So really, really chuffed with those. Yay, sunshine. Oh, it just makes everything so much better. Makeup and hair done and dried. I just did a really quick whiz over with the Dyson air wrap and the bristle attachment, which is great for like speedy. I'm basically trying to decide in my head which hair device to take with me on holiday because my luggage allowance, because of the seaplane, is minuscule, absolutely minuscule. And I think the Dyson air wrap probably does the most things in return in regards to like drying, smoothing, getting that little bit of a flick. And this is all the styling I, I will need to do on holiday. I definitely don't do any like curls or anything. Just do not have time for that. Little um, makeup hack, if you like a balmy lipstick, adding your favorite lip balm, obviously allies of skin, peptide, uh, on top of your lipstick just gives it the most gorgeous balmy finish, making every lipstick so comfortable and the most lovely little natural sheen. And can we just appreciate, considering we're in January and I haven't seen the sun in a very long time, and it's January, the glow that my skin has from that peptide moisturizer, love. So, there's something else I needed to report to you and tell you and I can't remember what it is. I don't know, but I'm very excited. Sorry, that is my hair towel. <laughs> I'm very excited to open up my packages. So, I'm going to start, I think, with my net port package. Let's get opening. If you're wondering why I'm still in my robe, it's because there are some swimsuits in these packages that I want to, oops, there goes my light, that I want to try on. I always choose the eco packaging to try and minimize um, the amount of packaging. Before I knew that was an option, I would get the, the boxes from Matches and they're always so beautiful, but this is just tissue paper, oh my gosh. I think I might have accidentally ordered this dress on Matches and their deporter. I swear Matches emailed me saying that this was sold out. Well, I am very pleased to report that it is not. So first of all, we have got this, I mean, if this isn't a honeymoon dress, then I don't know what is. This is from the new Zimmerman collection. I, I will try this on for you in a moment. Very, it doesn't look anything the way that I'm holding it up now. I'll pop a picture of the model wearing it on the screen here. I don't know if this might be a little bit too heavy. Also, you definitely couldn't wear this as a summer wedding guest, but you could wear it to summer garden parties. Really spectacular floral applique flowers on there. So lovely, and I love this thick waistband. I think this might be a little bit too smart for the island that we're going to. We're going to the same one that we visited um, on holiday last January, and it's a very chilled island. Like, people don't get super dressed up, which 
I love, it's just so relaxed. So this may be a little bit too fancy, but I shall try it on and let you know my thoughts. Up next is a Hunza G bikini. I do love how just stretchy and comfortable they are. I thought this periwinkle color was really nice and I feel like this will be quite flattering. If you don't know about Hunza G material, it's so stretchy. They do say one size fits all. I mean, this looks like it would fit a six year old, but they do have a lot of stretch in them. I'm not sure I'd say it's gonna fit everybody but it is super stretchy i always remember fleur saying that when she was pregnant she was so grateful for her hunza g swimsuits because where your body expands um as does the swimsuit so hopefully this will be a really nice flattering color i will try these on shortly not sure if i'll show you but i'm gonna give them a quick try Ooh, i think i may have got these in the sale I will leave everything linked down below so you can have a little look um, if anyone's going on any lovely sunny holidays, maybe this is a bit of inspo. But I do love a pair of beach shorts, these need a steam, um, from a brand called Casa, Casa, Raki. Casa Raki. It's almost a seersucker material, I like the little pockets, they're off-white, kind of ivory, and I just love an elasticated waistband, super comfortable I imagine they're going to be. Um, I like the little ruffle on top as well. I can already tell, I will of course try them, but I can already tell that these are going to be the kinds of things that I just slip on so regularly. Like every day, going for lunch, grab a shirt, slip these on top of the bikini bottoms, and you're good to go. Oh, this is just a lovely, lovely dress. It's from Matteo, and I think I have something similar to this with uh, ruffly straps that I wore in... Well, I've worn it loads, but I first wore... I don't know if I'll be able to remember to be able to find the photo, but there's a photo when we went to France, Master Chabron, and it was just like a really beautiful sunny alleyway. <laughs> and I was like, oh, can you take a quick photo of me here, Charlie? And it was a really nice photo wearing my old version of this. <laughs> that was random information. Really thin straps, which I love for when you are away, and a crisscross back detail, smocked bodice. I hope this isn't gonna be too much of a mission to get into and out of that's the only thing when it's got such a detailed back but color wise style wise perfect for our island that we're going to and then this could potentially just be the most perfect day dress from a brand called posse i really like their branding it's just very simple very clean very sleek i love a scalloped hemline uh, neckline lovely thin straps and just really nice lightweight simple cotton dress. If you have ever been to the Maldives before, you'll know that this is like the perfect Maldivian uniform, simple white day dress that you just wear for breakfast, for lunch. Yeah, as long as it fits in all the right places and isn't too baggy, that's the only thing. It could be a little bit baggy on the underarms. I may have time to tailor it, maybe, we'll see. We'll give it a try and then we can decide. I just opened the Nessa Porter box, so we've now moved on to Nessa Porter, and I saw this, and I was like, oh my gosh, what on earth have I ordered in this crazy pattern? But it's not. This is the dust bag, because when you order from this gorgeous Colombian brand, Agua de Bendita, everything comes in these beautiful dust bags. You might have spotted a couple over there on the wall um, that I ordered, I think in the Christmas Boxing Day sale time. I'm not sure they were on sale. Uh, so I've got a few gorgeous dresses from this lovely brand. Again, my only concern is the weight limit because there's just so much beautiful fabric and embellishment on these dresses. But the, the seaplane, which maybe you'll see the experience of by the end of this vlog, you have a 20 kilogram bag limit. I can honestly tell you, I have never, ever, ever, even on like weekend breaks, I have never got a suitcase to 20 kilograms which basically means I'm gonna be charged an absolute fortune for the excess. But look at this beautiful strap detail. The pearls, both large and small. Beautiful embroidery on that bodice. Crisscross, this is gonna be just the most stunning dress and it's going to pain me to not take it with us. I will give it a try, but it's just too heavy. Such a shame. This, I believe, is going to be one of the swimsuits from Agua Bendita. Again, they come in these beautiful little pouches. And, oh my gosh, the designs, the fabrics, they're just so 
heavenly, like really elevated swimsuits. Again, that's actually the same detail on the straps of the swimming cosy. How stunning. And this holiday, you literally spend the majority of your time in a swimsuit, so being able to dress one up for lunch with just a shirt around my shoulders and those little shorts on. I love the pattern of this as well. Absolutely beautiful. And it looks like it's going to be quite nice and high-waisted on the legs, so could be a really lovely option. I'll show you the other two from my previous order as well. The same little bag. This one is more lightweight. It doesn't have embellished straps, but it does have ruffle detail on the straps. They are just so lovely when it comes to patterned swimsuits and especially after lunch i love a swimsuit as opposed to a bikini i actually just feel so much happier and more confident in a swimming costume and i just love these i think they're so beautiful i like to swim at my gym as well so it's nice to have some elevated cosies for poolside posing which i know is ridiculous but main purpose is honeymoon Okay, what do we have in here? Ooh! <laughs> I was not expecting these to be actual towel material. This is a little pair of beach shorts from Zimmerman. They've got um, little fringes down at the bottom, palm leaf pattern within the toweling. They're quite heavy and I think they might be a bit bulky, so if I have to choose between these and the other ones, obviously again I'll try them, but I think I'd be leaning towards the other ones. But I will show you how these look. I feel like if you live in a beachy place, all of these things are just so heavenly and gorgeous to have in your wardrobe, but when you've got luggage and weight restrictions. Ooh la la. Now I love a bandeau item when I'm on holiday because it's great for the tan lines or lack. Ooh. However, once again, this is quite heavy. It's just obviously not really a consideration um, for brands, the weight of things. It's not top of everyone's priority list. If you're not going on a seaplane, <laughs> then normally the restrictions are not this bad. Again, I'll try it, but I fear it's just going to be too darn heavy. Something teeny weeny in here. Ah, yes, really excited about this, <laughs> which seems a little bit tragic, but this is a seersucker bando bikini top with really skinny straps. I just, because I'm exceptionally flat chested, bando styles really suit me. Um, and I love seersucker, it's very forgiving. And I reckon I could definitely wear this with the straps down. I could even cut them off, maybe. And I think. I think this was in the sale, I don't think the bottoms were available still, but I am not averse to a mix and match situation, so love this. Did I say that was the last thing? I apologise, it is not, because finally I have ordered a very dinky little pair of pyjamas from Olivia Van Hal, which I mentioned in Vlogmas, I mean it's just crazy expensive this brand, it really is. But I thought, it's our honeymoon, and I don't have, as far as my memory recalls, a really lovely pair of summer pyjamas. To be honest, even in summer, I do tend to wear full-length silk pyjamas, like shirt and full-length trousers. But, so I thought this would be a really nice addition to my collection. And if you can't treat yourself to a lovely pair of silky PJs for your honeymoon, when can you? I apologise for that mess, by the way. I'm going to get to that in a second. Ooh. Nice. So little, it's just really simple, like silk white little shorts. Very cute, gorgeous, such lovely quality silk. Again, I mentioned in Vlogmas, I've got Olivia Von Hull pyjamas that I've had for years and years and years. The quality is still top notch. I've still got a pair that I've had for maybe seven years. They must have been washed at least a hundred times. Um, and I love them. And then I've got pairs, also silk pairs from other brands. This is not including Lily Silk, by the way, their silk pyjamas are very good quality, but more kind of like high street brands doing silk PJs, and they just fall apart at the seams, which is such a shame, but yeah, Olivia Van Hall quality is very, very good. And the top, really lovely, lightweight silk, very delicate little skinny straps, not too low cut. I find a v-neck doesn't really suit me, um, but this is just really gorgeous, really elegant, a nice little almost halter style back detail. I just think that's absolutely gorgeous. I will give it a quick try, but I'm pretty sure they'll be perfect. 
Okay, I normally prefer to try on swimsuits when I've got a little bit of fake tan on, um, but I am stripped completely bare of fake tan ahead of tanning tonight. Love this swimsuit, but I'm very much gonna have to shorten the straps by about an inch and a half, I would say, um, because otherwise it's gonna slide down. Love the fact that it's like straight across the top here. I think that's a really nice design and the pattern is just absolutely gorgeous so it's a yes but it just needs a little bit of altering and tan <laughs> okay this is without doubt the most beautiful swimsuit i think i have ever tried on this embellished detail on the arms again you'll see me wearing this properly with a nicer glow when we are away but this detail on the arms is just absolutely stunning Again, love this straight across the top detail. The reason why I've grabbed this one is because I noticed on the tag it says, this textile is obtained from used, recycled and treated plastic bottles. A bikini takes up approximately eight bottles while a one piece requires around 14. So love that it's got that sustainability element as well. I like that they're quite a high cut on the legs um, and this pattern is just absolutely heavenly. I'd quite like a wallpaper with this pattern that would be rather gorgeous okay this is the Hunza G if you can see dark outlines that's because I am wearing my own underwear <laughs> under the bikini but this is super comfortable it's a shape that I really like I love as I mentioned a bandeau top and it's flattering on someone as flat chested as I am it feels quite sporty if I'm doing some swimming um, then it's just like a really comfortable set as well and I can attest to the quality I've had Hamza G bikinis for again four or five years I have worn them on loads of holidays they've been in the wash loads of times so I'm very happy with the quality I feel like this is not the visual visualness that you need during January so I apologize I will put some clothing on um, but yeah bikinis are thumbs up from me. This is the little crochet beach dress. I would normally wear it probably without any straps. It's very pretty and I, as I mentioned, do love a bandeau, but it's just not blowing me away enough to justify the heaviness of it. It's not crazy, crazy heavy, but as I mentioned, ridiculously tiny baggage allowance. So it's very cute. If I was going to Ibiza and I had the usual British Airways 32 kilogram allowance, then it would probably come with me, but it doesn't quite make the cut for this trip. And I pretty much have the same thoughts on these little Zimmerman shorts. I really like them. I think they're very fun. Um, I haven't tried on the other shorts yet, so we'll have to decide between the two pairs, but they are a little bit heavier, which <laughs> is um, not ideal, but they are very cute. And if you are a fan of toweling items, then yeah, I do like them, but they're more Ibiza than Maldives. So I think I will pass on these as well. Well, I'm exceptionally happy that the dress has got a really, really nice fit on the bodice. Um, doesn't need altering. It's actually perfect, not too tight. I was worried it was gonna be a little bit baggy here, but it's not. The straps are adjustable, um, I just love this little scallop detail, I think it's so pretty and as I mentioned this is exactly the kind of thing that I will be wearing to breakfast most mornings, I can wear it as a dinner dress, lunch dress, basically it's super versatile and I love that it's a brand that I've not tried before and no doubt I'll get lots of wear out of this in the UK summer as well, gosh we are thinking ahead a very long way <laughs> on a cold day like this, it seems a million miles away, but yeah this is definitely a winner. Well, I have already snipped off the label from these pajamas because they're absolutely perfect. Um, I guess, I say perfect, in a dream world, the straps would be like two centimeters shorter. That's just because my boob to shoulder ratio is probably not the same length as the fit model, but the shorts are really, the shorts are really, really sweet as well. Um, yeah, the perfect little honeymoon. And then summer pajama duo. As I said, the silk is just so soft. I love the little spaghetti straps. And this um, strap detail, I think, is just very delicate, very feminine, and yeah, just a classic. So very, very happy with these. 
Here is the totem bikini top. It fits exactly how I expected it to. Um, it's got a nice amount of stretch and support so I feel like it's not going to be flinging anywhere. It does feel a little bit like a crop top. I've styled it with this pair of trousers which were from a previous order. Um, they are also Agua Bendita. They are unfortunately just a little bit too big by a couple of inches actually I would say. There's a lot of fabric here and the fabric itself is just absolutely gorgeous. This beautiful linen material and this lovely green pattern. Um, but yeah, they're just not sitting in quite the right place and they are also too long. So I think I will return the trousers but the little bikini top slash crop top is perfection. This is something else from a previous order and it is the most beautiful silk sarong also agua bendita and it's the same pattern so you've got the i think that's like a jinko flower you've got actually they're all very tropical i'm not that familiar with all these different foliage types but really really beautiful so i get to enjoy and experience the fabric in something which i think fits and suits me a lot better rather than the wide leg trousers it's a really beautiful lightweight silk and it's kind of like an ivory colour just off white. Actually pretty much the exact same colour as this top so this would be a really fantastic more casual kind of beach bar lunch outfit and of all of the summer wardrobe items that I have I actually don't have a sarong <laughs> so this is perfection and will definitely be coming with me. Okay, these shorts are absolute perfection, everything that I hoped they would be. Really easy to pull on and off because of the elasticated waistband. A very nice um, textured material, not, not too textured. It's a little bit different in colour to the little top, but absolutely love them. Love the pockets, gives them a little bit more of a contemporary kind of vibe. Nice lengths, um, love the paper bag style waist. I really don't like that expression, but it does what it says on the tin. It does look like the top of a paper bag. Um, yeah, really, really happy with these. And I just know that they'll be the kind of thing that I'm reaching for pretty much every single day. So this is one I'm not 100% sure on. There's just something about it. It's really nice and lightweight and I love the colour and I always love a smocked bodice. But it was a little bit challenging to get into because of this... Um, back detail which is a really nice detail and I do like having my hair up in a little bun um, and showing off my back <laughs> but yeah something about it is just not my favourite and I know that when things are a pain to put on I will just avoid them like last year I took the linen Zimmerman dress which is a bit of an asymmetric style and I wore it once for one evening and I kind of kept putting off wearing it so I think because especially I've got something similar-ish to this from last year as well I think I will pass on this one so this is one that you didn't just see me unbox because again this is from my boxing day order but this is again Agua Bendita that is definitely the brand of the trip and it's a beautiful halter neck style dress so at least I get my my back <laughs> shot with this one a really gorgeous elasticated waistband which we all love for um over indulgent times and it's just so much easier to actually put on than that previous dress that I tried because it's literally a case of tying a bow behind your neck this dress is quite long so it is one that I'll have to wear my um, little heels for but I think I think this would definitely be the smartest dress that I'll be taking on the trip with me and there is one restaurant called Leaf which is a little bit a little bit smarter I think with the amount of clothes I'm taking every evening dress I'll be wearing twice I'll be rotating um, once per week <laughs> I think I think I've got about six or seven evening dresses and then maybe some of the evenings I'll wear a more casual dress like the white posse one but this is just gorgeous it is a little bit on the heavy side but I think worth it it's not crazy heavy this almost reminds me of a coral kind of undersea structure and then we've got almost the jinko leaf this looks a little bit like a salvia but really beautiful embroidery gorgeous green threads and it feels very me and again as well as wearing it on this trip it's one that I can see myself wearing for UK summer garden parties and things like that so one that I'll get a lot of wear from so that is it those are the pieces in my order 
although I do have a confession <laughs> I did I did place another order last night but I would say realistically there is a 50-50% chance that it might not actually get to us in time because we probably need to leave the house at around one o'clock tomorrow in the afternoon after lunch um, so who knows if it will arrive in time I really hope it does because I ordered a few more Erez bikini tops which are probably my favorite in that they are just plain bandeau tops really easy to mix and match um, great for sunbathing so you don't get the strap lines and I also ordered I'll pop a photo on the screen here this really cute little Loewe Lima bag <laughs> it's got little lemurs on it which is so cute but not sure if it'll arrive so yeah those are the latest additions let me know your favorites down below and as I mentioned earlier keep an eye on my Instagram stories if you would like to see these bits being worn in real life Okay, thankfully this dress is not perfect. I say thankfully because that makes my decision quite a lot easier. I've actually not managed to zip it up all the way by myself. I think because I did arms in the gym this morning, I just can't do that whole manoeuvre. Um, but even without having it fully zipped up, I can see that it is just a little bit too poofy on my shoulders and I don't have the narrowest of shoulders, so I definitely don't want any additional wideness being added um you don't do you, no don't have pockets a little bit sheer i am wearing a brown thong um <laughs> which you can kind of see through but obviously you could just wear a better color if um you were wearing it out and about i'm feeling a little bit like what's the girl in bridesmaids when she's wearing um <laughs> the wedding dress designer it's Madame Juju, or whatever she's called. It feels a little bit like that. Maybe a little bit too much frou-frou going on up here. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, it feels, it definitely feels more like a wedding dress. I think it even has a, um, a hoop within it. The silhouette is absolutely gorgeous. It's incredibly bridal. I think if I was getting married on Lake Como and I was having a garden party the next day, or to be honest, even if I was getting married again and having our garden party in the, gar in the garden, um, this would be a really gorgeous like day two actual I am the bride dress, but I think it's just too much for our honeymoon. And the fit isn't perfect. It's glorious, it would need altering, but for this trip it is not quite right. So I am gonna send it back tragically, but this whole collection from Zimmerman that they're doing at the moment is absolutely divine um and i can't wait to see as they release more as they always do so yeah i'll keep an eye on the collection because it really is stunning but this is just not perfect for this particular occasion just came down to the office for our team call and look who's in the director's chair today <laughs> expect lots of spelling mistakes today yes i apologize for anyone that's received Four an email from me spelling dogs. and typing in general has never been my forte how does one creature always look so dopey he's getting more gray as well i've noticed he's got a lot more gray hair so have you mate. a bit old you know oh. he's only six isn't he seven seven i don't is know that's the nine I don't think that's the nine is he Daddy, I'm eight and three quarters, and I'm exceptionally handsome and exceptionally scruffy right now. Hmm. Hello again, my darlings. It's many hours later. We've had a very productive team call since I last spoke to you, um, and a productive lunchtime work session, <laughs> another email blitz. From super glamorous dresses, I am now into my very much cosy working from home attire. This is the fabulous sheep jumper that uh, you might remember from Vlogmas that Charlie got me as one of the day's gifts and it's just so adorable. If I can find the brand um, or if I can find this, I'll leave a link down below, but it's just so soft and cosy and I love it. Charlie and I were just saying that this archway, it looks and feels so bare without the Christmas decorations. I feel like we need to have something permanent up on the archway and the fireplace as well. Yeah, just very bare, very sad without all the decks. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna bring my laptop and my phone and my iPad downstairs. I've got Ellie coming over shortly to do my Manny Peddy. I think we'll do it here in the living room. And while she's pampering me, I'm gonna download loads of bits to watch on the plane and while we are away. So 
yeah, excited to get my nails done. <laughs> Okay, my darlings, it's a few hours later now, and oof, I just needed a quick, oh, <laughs> I just needed a quick complexion top up, probiotic treatment mist for the win. So Ellie has just left, and she did the most glorious mani and pedi. I had a very productive mani pedi session. Um, as well as chatting, I was impressed <laughs> with the multitasking. I managed to get loads of emails done, so it was very productive um, pampering. That's one of the main reasons I love to have treatments here at home, especially manis and pedis, because I can I can get work done at the same time. So we did. She's done the most gorgeous um, shape and colour on my fingernails. I mean, nothing groundbreaking because I literally am um, a creature of habit. So this is gel bottles marshmallow two coats of gel bottle marshmallow and then one coat of my favorite opi negligee i actually keep a bottle of negligee in my uh, kitchen cupboard downstairs and if anyone comes to do my nails and they don't have negligee which ellie didn't because she uses gel bottle then i'm just like oh do you mind if we put an extra coat of this on so she did and it looks absolutely gorgeous just really like classic neutral pink the lighting in here is crazy because obviously it's pitch black outside by now but um yeah love them and then i have got gel bottle chocolate <laughs> on my toes which i love so i'm up here again and i'm gonna pack my hand luggage we're going tomorrow yay yeah i need to pack my hand luggage i'm gonna use of course my new book tote and i need to put a change of outfit in there for when we arrive because i'm gonna wear tracksuit bottoms to fly in because it's an overnight flight change of shoes um download some more bits on my ipad and sort out my travel little mini makeup bag i have got this little teeny weeny velvet makeup pouch which i got from clay de poe almost perfectly matches my jumper and because it's so small it will encourage me to be very frugal as to what I take in my aeroplane um, makeup so that's what I'm going to sort that's what I'm going to sort now and then Lala is coming over in about half an hour we're having dinner together and I've asked her if she wouldn't mind coming on camera for a quick um, skincare update from her because i know that loads of you are a similar age to lila and you like to hear about her skincare routine too so yeah she's going to come over in half an hour and we're going to do a little a little mature skin skincare chat but for now i'm gonna carry on packing okay everybody as promised i have got your favorite lila here on camera <laughs> your first youtube appearance in 2024 it is it's been all year gosh <laughs> one of your Here favorite moments um our fashion team fashion mumbler did actually i'm going to read you these stats team fashion mumbler did a 2023 deep dive into our numbers deep from last dive. year scuba yeah scuba Ooh. diving yeah um aprendimos a bucear Sí. muchos peces colorados. I can see. Y coral. Qué alegría. So, some numbers. This is like blog and YouTube numbers from last year. Right. We had 16.7 million YouTube views. Wow. 163 oh. videos were um, published. Yeah. 190 million YouTube impressions. 4.2 million watch I hours. I can't cope with these figures. 4.2 million hours people watched last year. We That's sent amazing. over 304,000 emails to our newsletter subscribers. Including me. Including Lila. Yes. 9.1 million TikTok views. And one of our audience's favourite moments on YouTube. Da, da, da. Aside from our wedding, of course, was when you talked us through a skincare routine. Oh my yeah. goodness! That was one of the most replayed moments. Oh, thank you, everybody, on the channel. <laughs> That's very flattering. Thank you. So here's a repeat. Yes. So when we last spoke, mm -hmm. you were in full mode of um, like you just updated your skincare routine because of the wedding. I really? did. Yes, I did. Seriously. Yes, you did yes. an overhaul. Yes. So what have you stuck to, and what have you changed, and what have you? I've stuck to. Um, Using the uh, Allies of Skin um, serum, Your favorite mainly the serum mm -hmm. because I ran out of the cream. <laughs> <laughs> you must tell me when you oh, run sorry, out. Darling. Sorry, sorry. I was saving this for my holiday. I don't believe in saving things for best. I think you should just use, use. them all the time. 
Why do? Well, tell us about. Right. Tell us your routine from scratch. Okay. What I have really become in love with is the um, the vitamin C. Oh. The vitamin C brightening and firming serum, mm -hmm. and you do only need just one pump. Do you only use one? Yes, I use two. But then do you use do your neck you? as well? Yes. Yeah. Oh wow, you get a lot out of a, a pump. You can be more. Well, more. I I did I I the reason I I use only one pump because I'm frugal is also because you know you can get sometimes uh, some brands use those little capsules. Yes, and I feel that that that's almost the equivalent of one pump yeah that's true and and I so is that the first thing you put on your face in the morning i put i try to put on um a, a toner i've been using a spray toner which is rather nice mm. just pat it in mm. um but then that dries very quickly so if you're going to use the allies of skin vitamin c serum mm. you need to ha put, have a damp skin yes yeah. so mm. I've been using, you know, the little Evian water sprays. Yeah. Psst, psst, psst. Oh, and you just spray your face. It's perfect. That's such it's a good idea. Perfect. Because I and then do it like after the shower. But I know. Always, I don't have a I shower. Know. I'm like, what do I do? I know. I used to just splash water. I think no. Yeah. And I, I found it was only a tiny can. I've actually run out of it. But but I will get another one you because it's so water useful. In it. No, it's a spray. I don't think I can open the spray. Oh. But I could use any little spray. Mm. Any any you can get them from Boots, can't you? The little yeah. sprays. So that was a very good little. That's a very good tip. Yeah, it's a very good tip. So then the the the, uh, the the vitamin C, and then I go and do my workout mm. <laughs> because it, you need to leave it fifteen minutes. Yeah, really, you do need to. You do. And then I come back into the bathroom and I get my uh, no, I get my serum. Oh, I can't read. It. <laughs> I get my serum, which I adore. Multipeptides of advanced lifting serum, and I absolutely adore this. Mm -hmm. It just glides on yeah it's so lovely and then when that's soaked in, I, I leave that sort of two or three minutes four or five minutes mm -hmm. and then on to the peptides and antioxidants firming daily treatment yay so you're which is a lovely cream it's a lovely all the cream. allies of skin skincare yes. routine yes wow yes and everyone so, even at christmas was saying how amazing your skin texture is i know, I know. it's so I noticeable know. i hope you can see obviously last time we filmed it was daylight now we're in winter yeah, yeah, but your nice. smoothness yes, here yeah and your wrinkles i think the clinical trials for this are 20 percent visible reduction in yes, wrinkles definitely 20 percent. yes that's huge that is huge yeah. And yeah. both short term and yeah. long term yeah. effects i'm going to leave all the clinical trial yeah. info down below because the numbers yes are absolutely insane and really? also your neck my neck at the moment <laughs> at the moment i've got a little bit of um fake tan on and it and it sort of doesn't really well, it's old fake tan so it, it needs exfoliating. exfoliating yeah um but yes my neck is much better and my friends mm. all say mm. the ones i haven't seen mm. for a while Forehead. yeah and yeah. like here yeah. it's so smooth yeah i am a very wrinkly person my father was a very wrinkly person i think you're either wrinkly or you're not wrinkly and i haven't had any work done whatsoever no. and I and I don't ever plan to <laughs> miss the boat there really <laughs> no but if I can find a cream which I have serums and creams mm. then well you know you may not know Lala lived in Spain for nearly 20 years and did you wear factor 50 every day <sighs> don't be silly darling no I used um coconut oil <gasps> oh my gosh and I used to lay on the beach and fry the allies of skin skincare experts are going to be watching this and they are going to be going, oh my gosh. But that's what we used to do. I know, but that's, that's I know. so bad. I know. So that breaks down the barrier yeah. in your skin. Yeah. And what this does, which oh. I think is why this is working so well on mm. you, is this builds up the barrier. The GF, do you know what the GF means? New. Growth factor. Oh. And this is 3% of this growth factor serum. And what that does is it makes your skin cells talk to each other. And when they talk to each other, they can build up together a barrier and that helps your skin bridge, to have... bridge the wrinkles yeah like bridge and also like have a protective barrier yeah. like we're wearing thermals yes. that's the protective yeah. barrier to your yeah. skin yeah. this helps your skin become a protective barrier yeah. um and it helps build up the collagen in your skin mm -hmm. which obviously plumps yes. up and gives you the glow i mean you know hindsight is a wonderful thing isn't it it's, it's the same as smoking i used to smoke Mm. Um, it's the same as smoking. I mean, you used to go to the doctor's surgery or the dentist, or not so much the dentist, mm. the doctor's surgery, and you'd have a cigarette on the go. Sometimes they'd talk to you with the cigarette hanger. <gasps> yeah. 
because nobody didn't knew. Know. Nobody knew. No. And 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 I suppose we we should have known that coconut oil was going to fry us. Oh my god! Um, <laughs> I can't believe it. I never I never actually burnt burnt. Really? No. Would you um, lie like with your face in the sun? Yeah. But I used to have these. I used to have these little um, like a plastic. Yeah. Screen. Yeah. Tiny things like to you protect get, your eyes. Yeah, but they had but little like, slits in. They had little slits in, so you could you could see through them. Oh my God. And I sometimes wore those. I but I think I did. I felt I dam damaged my eyes, and that's why I started to wear these things. Really? Yeah. Oh my God! I know. If, that, if you could feel that in your eyes, imagine what your skin took. <sighs> but at least I, I, know. I I know this. I mean, at least it's getting repaired now. But after I've used my, um, I, can't <laughs> I know they're quite long names. They're quite long names actually. They are because they do so many things. Peptides and antioxidants, firming daily treatment. Mm -hmm. When I've used that, mm -hmm. if I still feel that my face needs a little bit more, I'll put on a, a, a face cream, quite mm -hmm. a rich face cream. You can and put then a my... few drops of oil in with that. Oh really? Mm, and then I'll make it more rich and even more luxurious. Oh, right. Yeah. But I use four pumps of that. Do you? Mm. Face and neck, four pumps. Yeah. I seem to remember somebody once told me that you shouldn't, or you didn't, don't need, shouldn't is the wrong word, you don't need to put a lot of cream on because your face can only take in so much. But were you putting it on your neck at that time? No. I don't know, I think they recommend four pumps. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just but put, I do um, also afterwards use my Factor 50. Yes, you must, you must, you must, you yeah. must. I don't know if anyone will have asked you because I literally did it 37 seconds ago, but I did put up a little Q&A box. Um, oh. on Instagram see if anyone had any questions um, for you oh this yes. is cute someone's just asked what brings you joy and you're not allowed to say Dexter and Dickens what brings me joy yeah a, a beautiful blue sky morning and looking out of my window over the fields mm. that brings me joy mm. and my family Oh, obviously, and Dexter and Dickens. Yeah, and Dexter. I literally said this morning, I know I'm going to be in a good mood today because it's blue skies. Oh yeah. And it was. Yeah. This is a nice one as well. What is yours and Josie's secrets to being such positive people? Ooh. I think. I think for me. Now I feel much more positive, um, because I think I think my life needs positivity, mm. um, particularly since. Peter died since since your daddy died, mm. and and because it was on the cusp of his retirement and what we weren't going to do when he'd retired, um, it just makes me think. Live each day as it comes. Mm. That's always my answer as well. When people are like, "How are you so positive?" Yeah. I actually think it's because of dad as well. Because yeah. also what we both went through. Yes. Anything in comparison to that is nothing. No. Like when people complain about tiny things i'm like oh my gosh that's yeah. just nothing yeah it's yeah. nothing yeah so i think yeah. having something really bad happen yeah. to you makes you and i think together we 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 built that positivity together mm. um and life life had to carry on mm. and but we made the most of it and we still make the most of it mm. you and your way now with with charlie and and me just me <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> because you just have to get on with it you I can't that. you can't sit in the doldrum all day can no you can't no. you can't no. you are always very stylish oh. what was your mum's career were you involved in fashion no <laughs> but my mum your namesake josephine she was all she was always she always looked lovely she mm. was always elegant and maybe and she it's how you wear clothes as well like, look is. at both of us right now our postures a very good posture because yeah. then you just wear things well. I used to get a posture star at school. Oh, they used to give us a posture you? star. Oh. I had an awful school report in, uh, in the first couple of terms. And no. I said, but mummy, I, I got, got a posture, posture star. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, I want to do that for our future babies. Yes. Like a posture star. And no, it was a little star. sort of enamel uh, gold like brand star. Brand. It was. Oh gosh, you wore that with pride. Mm. Oh my goodness me. That's so cute. I love that. There are loads of questions about beauty tips. Obviously, you shared your products. Um, you get LED, you do LED when you're getting your... F no, you get... No, when I was having the uh, Dermalux light on my feet, my poor <laughs> She does LED on her feet. 
my poorly <laughs> feet. Ding but whilst that was being done, I I had the most amazing facials, mm. and I really miss those now mm. because I've stopped doing the derma looks. For they a were while. like pampering facials, oh, right? Yeah, they really were. Yeah, they, they were just so lovely. Like oils and massages. Oh yes. Oh, the massages. <gasps> I mean, the contortions that my face mm. must have gone into. That's also really good for facial muscle. Yeah. When I have the Allies Vitamin C Serum on, because it is a little bit thicker, that's when I do a bit of facial massage. So I do like. Oh, I use the, the, the quartz roll, yeah. roller thing. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. You too. That's yeah. so funny. We do a lot of things the same and we've yeah. not even discussed them. No. Um, the dress that you wore to our wedding, um, everyone said she chose this beautiful dress, but do you have butterf do the butterflies have a meaning to us? Oh, no. no. I guess it was like attracted to the flowers of my That's dress. That's right. Yes. Yes, there was the connection there, but personally we don't particularly have a connection with other than loving gardening. I know. Um, I don't have a question in mind, just wanted to say how lovely your mum is inside and out. Oh, That's so kind. So cute. Aww. There's some cute ones like, how proud are you of Josie? Any tips oh to goodness. raise a woman like her? That's quite a big one. What do you mean? So oh, they've said, tips to raise a, a woman yeah. like Josie? Yeah. Oh gosh, I think... I think in our circumstances we we were very good friends mm -hmm. but there was always that line mm. that line of respect mm. and that that line of mum to daughter mm. but we were always good friends and we laughed and we just had such good fun didn't we mm. and also with your friends I I remember a lot of your school friends um and the boys when they came on next week. Oh, please can we come and stay on next oh. weekend? Do you remember? Yeah. Um, two or three of Josie's friends said, oh, "I wish my mum was like you." Oh. But I think it's because I think it's because of our joy and our laughter mm. and our openness. I think yeah. that's what it was—the welcoming openness. And mm. you know, it doesn't matter if there's mud on the floor from the boys playing rugby or whatever. Yeah. You know, when they go into the shower, but and the hot tub. Oh my goodness. Filthy. The hot tub was disgusting. <laughs> but we made it so that everyone wanted to come and spend we time in our house. We did. We did, and it yeah. was joyous. The whole the whole thing was joyous, yeah. even though it was built out of sadness. Mm. But you know, you have to you have to yeah. You have to make the most of life because you know th th there are there are dreadful things going on. We can't personally do something about about Everything, them, yeah. and so. We have to live our lives in joy. Yeah. What else can you do? Love that. Let's see. What is your favourite place on earth? <gasps> Pasa las vacaciones. Oh, las en las Maldivas. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Yes, I think. Uh, yeah. Es un sitio precioso. Oh. Un país de islas. Ay. Hechos de arena. Un mar de aguas turquesas. <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> what is a distinct teaching that your mother gave that you were determined to pass to Josie? I think respect mm. and good manners. Mm. I think mm. that's so important. Mm. Yeah. Do you know, it makes me really annoyed when people think that manners and respect are like, um, are not trendy anymore. Like someone the that other day, bad. a lady told Charlie off for holding the door open for them. She was like, oh, no, that. no, I can hold my own door open. Allow, allow people to be respectful. I think that's shocking. You know, there's, there's the old expression, manners maketh man. Yeah, yeah. I think so. And, and, and I think that, that you know, to, to, to take it to that extent, no, don't hold the door open mm. for me. Oh, gosh. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, like, mm. this is respect. Yeah, of course it is. Mm. When she was a little girl, what do you think Josie would grow up to do? Now, that's a very difficult one. That's a very difficult one. I think even early on, going going right back into the early days of school, you always had that artistic flair, mm. um, which again I think you got from my mum because mm -hmm. she she was an artist, um, and she, uh, yeah, I I I I don't think I ever thought that that would be your future. I don't know mm. what I I don't, don't know what I thought your future would be. I think where we grew up as well, where I grew up, 
having a job in the creative world was just not a thing. It was like, yeah. you will be a doctor or an English teacher or a farmer. Yes, yes. <laughs> there were no job opportunities in the no, creative space. No, no. Um, and fashion was really quite basic, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, you know elasticated waist skirts but and a thick jumper. you used to make me outfits, like Snow White. I did, and... I did. Yeah. Made your little... I think we've still got your dressing up box. I hope so. We have. So cute. I'll do just one more. There are actually so many. Um, maybe we should do a full Q&A one time. Would love to know what makeup and hair and skin products she uses as she is stunning. Hugs from Ireland. So we've talked about skin and yes. what are your favourite top three makeup and top three hair? Top three makeup? Mm. Mm. I'm using, at the moment, I'm using a lovely Dior uh, eyeshadow palette Ooh. in browns, yeah. got gold to brown. Mm. Um, I also like um, um, just a little bit of blush and and a little bit. Of, I've got I'm using Clarins uh, bronzer, but it's mm. it's pale one side and dark on the other side. I know the one, and yeah. that's a really nice mix, mm. which I'm actually running out of. Okay, um, you noted. <laughs> <laughs> but I do like that. Mm -hmm. um, generally, I tend to use a tinted moisturiser. Which one? Any that I can get my hands on, really. Oh, okay. I'm not... Uh, um, I, there's a Laura Mercier one that I'm using at the moment. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yes. Um, and there's a Rodial? Rad, Rodial. Rodial? Rod, Rodial. Yeah. Yes, I've been using that Have as you well. tried a Borium? Oh, this, I've got it. Yeah. Uh, from your recommendations. Oh, and good. I went through the link, darling. Oh, good. Yes. That's lovely. Good. That is yeah, lovely. really nice. Yeah. Any yeah. hair favourites? Hair favourites. Um, I've been using the Beautify. Beautify. Yeah, Beautify. <laughs> Beautify. Um, I don't know what what it's called, but it's purple. It's a purple one for for the highlights. Oh. And it's very rich. Mm. It's a very rich mm -hmm. one. I don't use it all the time. Yeah. Um, otherwise, I use Elvive. Um, Hairspray. You don't use many products. No. El no, the Elvive shampoo. For, um, it's the goldy coloured one, yeah. orangey coloured one. I don't know, yeah, yeah. I don't know what it's called. But... Rich and moisturising, isn't it? Mm. With with the conditioner as well. Mm -hmm. But spray, just don't leave. And when you go to nice. the hairdresser, what do you ask for? Because your colour's really good. Well, she just does it. <laughs> she just she does she, it. She's just so good. Um, we talk go? about it. I go I go to um, um, a salon in Stratford on Avon. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the name. We'll leave it linked down. I'm sorry. Below. Yes. But she's Ra Raphael. Raphael. Her name is. Mm. Um, and they, they they go all over the world actually. They've oh. been in New York. They went to the New, New York for the fashion uh, um, fashion week. Yeah. Um, and actually, she told me, do you remember the night manager? Mm. Uh, and that house up on the hill in in, in New York. It was supposed to be, wasn't yeah. it? Or in, or in yeah. Luther. Yeah. She went. She did a wedding there. Oh wow. In that same building. Oh wow. Yeah. 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 Oh she's gosh. Lovely. I don't know what the salon's called. We'll find it. And yeah. We'll leave it I'm sure. But she's lovely. Yes. Yay. Well, I can smell our dinner, so I think that means oh, that wow. Charles has nearly finished cooking, so thank you, Lala. You're very welcome. We'll have a little lovely. skincare chat and a little Q&A. Yes. Um, and just quickly whizzing back to these, mm. I know we did this in summer, but again, I'm going to pop a before and after on the screen here, because I think when you see, I mean, Lala looks amazing now, always, but yeah. especially now, oh. and you've been using this for seven, eight, nine eight, months? Yes. On and off, because I, I have been using other things in between when I haven't had any left. We must make sure you always have a supply. Sorry, darling. Yes. Don't save, don't save, it's the best. No. You must continue. Yes, and I was saving them for my holiday. Next no, <laughs> no, we keep you topped up. <laughs> right, okay. Um, so yeah, I'll pop a before and after on the screen here so you can see how incredible um, Lala's results are. And Lala is not alone. As I mentioned, the clinical trials and results from this have been astronomical. And um, I mentioned earlier that we've got 20% off site-wide oh, wow. discount code. Wow. So you can tell your pals. Oh, Lola yes. tells all her pals at I the do. gym. And they're I like, do. what are you been using? Yeah. I said you're a Bamford skincare influencer <laughs> in the gym. In the and gym, if yeah. you buy this with our discount code, you will automatically get a deluxe sample size of oh, this wow. in the basket. Oh, wow. Gosh, well worth it. Yeah. Oh, my goodness me. It's what so a treat. Good. Yeah. So yeah. much more affordable and more enjoyable to do this at home than mm. have like crazy expensive treatments. Absolutely. 100%. And it's got so yeah. many so many benefits. We're both a huge fan. Yes. So there we go. Yeah. Right, we're gonna go and have our dinner. I think we've got beef stir fry. Until next Lovely. time. Yeah. Yeah.
Hasta la vista, baby. Bye. And here's our dinner. We have got a beef pad thai stir fry with. Are they marinated in anything? The carrots on top. So the carrots are like pickled in some apple cider vinegar. Ooh. And then um, a tiny bit of maple syrup. Yummy. Um, and then we've got Ooh. it's like garlic and ginger beef that come that we get from the butchers. Nice. With a pad thai sauce, and we've got we've got quite a lot of veg in here. We've got mushrooms, only a few. Don't worry. Red onion, mm -hmm. garlic, ginger. Uh, three types of peppers. Lovely. Um, and soba noodles. Yeah, the good noodles. Do you want another beer? It's, it's Very enough. nice. Cannot wait to tuck in. <laughs> Let's show everybody your new party trick, my Len Len. Let's show everybody your new party trick. So we've realised that whenever we make a triangle with our hands, he will put his snout in it. Oh, that's not, that's cheating. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to find it, actually. Vicky? Vicky? Oh, you won't do it now. Oh. Look, there's a nice this, triangle this, this there. Is a, this is a Mummy just goes <laughs> under it. Is he going under it? Now? Yeah. Look, Mummy's making <clears throat> a triangle. He's, he's, he's done it three times. <laughs> I don't do it on camera. I do not like being laughed at. Bless I think it just is where, where it catches the eyes. Mm. Hey, nice triangle here for I you, my lady. I not like being woken up. Oh, he's a sweet. <laughs> <laughs> he just goes underneath. <laughs> Mummy, that triangle is too high. Dexy's yeah, he's kind of more alert to something. He's like, what's going on? Dexy, what? going to be Granny's mean? boys tomorrow. He's looking, he's looking at you. No, I now go under the triangle. Yes, that's not like it. I, just go I won't perform on camera. Mummy and Daddy got to see for two weeks. There's a nice triangle here, my lamb. Good morning, darlings. It's Friday morning. We're flying tonight. One final reform of Pilates before the honeymoon. Yay! Good morning, my darlings. A proper good morning. It's Friday morning. Started the day with cardio reformer Pilates, which is normally a class taken by Alex, um, but today it was Vikrant, so it was still cardio reformer, but it was pretty different. We were still using the jump boards on the reformer. If any of you guys have ever done jump board reformer, it's quite wild, but really different movements to what we would normally do. And I feel like my side butt, my glute mead, I think is the technical term, is on fire, absolutely on fire. Uh, so that was a fantastic start to the day. Just went into the farm shop and they had little samples of their orange and marmalade cake, which is my orange marmalade and poppy seed cake, which is my absolute favorite. And they also had, I saw Carol <laughs> post this on her story and I was really intrigued to try it. Um, this is their 10 hour bone broth soup with garden greens and herbs. There we go. So I think this is going to be absolutely delicious and full of goodness. To be honest, this is probably enough for two people, so maybe I will share this with Charlie. I had a bit of an, an awkward one where I totally should have realised that my bill was ridiculous the last time I came. Actually, this is a really boring story and I'm not even going to tell you because it's so boring and no one, no one will care that I paid salmon prices for my salad. Anyway, really excitingly, it's Friday morning and we have just sent out our Fashion Mumbler newsletter, which is no longer called the Fashion Mumbler newsletter. It is now called Perennial Post. And that is a little hint as to a rebrand that is happening across all of our um, channels this year. The new newsletter looks absolutely gorgeous. I will put 
put a little preview on the screen here so you can see it and um, you still get the exclusive discounts so like all the discounts that I'm working with brands whether it's 20% off allies of skin or a discount on your wild nutrition supplements or um, any amazing brand offers they're still in there at the bottom there's the discount directory which is exclusive to newsletter readers often an extra discount um, but there's also going to be exclusive content in the newsletter. So, for example, uh, the one that's going out today, let me tell you, it's got um, our 10 favorite wellness podcasts. We've got um, some recipes. We've got gardening jobs for the week. And I'm not going to lie, the newsletter just looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm so, so happy with it. It was a full a full team effort and you might have also spotted this new uh, style of branding on my YouTube header graphic and also the end screen and if you are, I'm sure no one will be thinking this but if you're thinking the anemone within it looks familiar that is actually the anemone sketch um, that we had on my wedding dress so that exact anemone design was um, created by Mimi based on photos of my favourite flower from our garden from last summer, the anemone, and um, she basically turned that photo into a sketch into an embroidery that was all over my wedding dress and now it's part of our new branding. So I hope you love it. Anyway, I've got my <laughs> almond matcha because I'm a creature of habit. I'm listening to Dr. Wrong and Chatterjee with Chris Von Tilliken. It's basically loads of the information that is in the ultra processed people book so if you want the info but you don't want to read the whole book then i'll leave this podcast down below it's very very fascinating it's called they changed the names of these podcasts to try and get you to listen more than once but at the moment it's called number one cause of disease and weight gain you may never eat this food again so i would definitely recommend it if you're interested in the kind of things that i'm always going on about anyway i'm gonna get home i need to finish packing i need to do my fake tanning part two i showered off my bondi sands this morning and i think i need to go even darker so i'm probably gonna do san tropez on top of bondi sands so that is the plan when i get home so let's get going yay okay my darlings i am in my marinating dressing gown which is from amazon um, I'll leave it linked down below in my fake tan essentials. I ended up going for the Bondi Sands aerated self tanning foam one hour express tan um, because I realized I actually need to shower and then leave in three hours. I know it says one hour, I will leave it for two and a half hours. The longer you leave it, the deeper the color intensifies to. Um, it's very bright in the window, so I'm not sure what you'll be able to see, but it depends on your personal skin tone as to what colour tan works really well for you. Some people really suit a more orange based tan. I personally suit a more green based tan and it's kind of annoying that fake tan brands don't tell you if they're orange based or green based, you kind of have to figure it out. This is definitely green based. A way that you can tell is when you wash your mitt in the sink afterwards, if the water runs slightly green, then you know it's a green based tan and vice versa with orange. The only downside that I personally have found with green based tans is that they do go off and when they go off, you will turn green, <laughs> which is what happened to me at Em's birthday. I took a an old, I didn't realise it was old, a Bondi Sands tan with me and I intended on fake tanning that first night when we were in wilderness and as soon as I put it on my legs, I turned green <laughs> so I had to wash it off straight away and bin that tan so that's just something to be aware of um, but yeah this has given my body a fantastic tan um, and it's about half full I'm gonna go and get a low oh do I still have that yes I do <laughs> in my junk drawer um, yeah I'm gonna wrap this up really securely and I'm gonna take this with me because I do wear factor 50 the whole time when we're away I do still get a natural tan through that um, and I always think a natural tan mixed with a fake tan is just the best because you get you still get deeper on those places where you naturally would get some colour but yeah I'm very much a fake tanner on holiday and I'll take exfoliating products so that I can be basically while I'm away on like a two week holiday when I'm going to be in a bikini the whole time I need to be always tanned basically every night I gently exfoliate 
Um, and then when I feel like I need to top up my tan, which is normally every four to five days, so I'll probably tan three times while we're away, then I will just um, apply another layer. Just don't forget to take your tanning mitt. Is there anything else in this drawer I need to take? I have packed my fan, of course, very useful. Whoa, is that sunshine? My goodness. So I wanted something, of course, healthy and nourishing before our flight later today. I think we will grab a little bit of food in the airport before the flight, maybe something nice from Itsu. It's always a little bit challenging trying to get healthy food at an airport, but we shall do our best. It's actually been a few years since Charlie last ate airplane food. Um, I actually love it, but I know that it's not the best for us. But anyway, back to lunch. Um, so, I picked up, I actually, yeah, I think I mentioned this in the car, um, saw Carol post about this, and it's their new 10 hour bone broth, and it's got the veggies in it as well, so it's essentially a full soup. I did order myself another load of these from Freesia, the bone broth. I love the chicken, probably the most when I'm having my own, um, soup like I think I did yesterday, but I also love the beef, and I think beef is maybe a little bit more filling. I've actually, um, I think got a discount code for Freesia, so if that is now active, then I'll leave it linked down below if you want to try it. You'll have seen me using this um, in my lovely noodle soups in the last few videos, but I thought I would try this something a little bit different today, and yeah, I'm excited to give it a go. Absolutely delicious and I was thinking when I try and do my DIY version I can make the bone broth or use the freezer one and then just start putting in the freezer like little shavings of different veggies like this is just uh, actually let's have a look um, I think little bits of carrot bits of kale anything I've got from the kitchen garden so they've got um, onion celery leeks tomato garlic puree, um, red onions, carrots, cabbage, mushroom, celery, all those things. If I have like a little bit left over after I've done some cooking, I can just chop it up really small and have a little bag in the freezer for bits that I can add to my bone broth because then I won't have to scurry around looking for frozen peas and bits of broccoli and things. And then I can add that to my noodle soup. That will be scrumptious. I'll get cracking on that when we are back from our honeymoon. We are leaving in less than an hour. I'm just enjoying my last moments of cuddles with my children. And I've just made a really nice berry acai smoothie as a little dessert <laughs> to my lunch with bee pollen on top, which is my absolute favorite. Yummy. Okay, my darlings, the time has come. We are about to leave for the airport. Very quick traveling outfit. Um, I actually didn't really plan this ahead other than pulling these tracksuit bottoms out of a drawer last week when I did my clear out. These are actually from Varley. I think I got them on a net -a to sale a few months ago. This is the first time I've actually worn them out though. They are so soft on the inside. They're like a brushed something, <laughs> which is really gorgeously soft. Footwear wise, I'm wearing my Vivo barefoot trainers because they're really comfortable, nice and lightweight and these will be the ones I wear to the gym when we are on the island. Um, nice high waistband, elasticated waistband, very important on the trousers. And then this little top is from Reese. It's perfect because it's just, it actually does show a little bit of midriff here, which feels very tiktokery it feels very um millennial which i am not but i won't actually be like this at all really because i'm also taking my lily silk cashmere jumper which is gorgeously soft 
Some people might think I'm crazy flying in white, but I always do actually. This is a quite frequent flying jumper. Cashmere is really good at temperature regulating. So yeah, and then I'm taking quite color coordinated, very typical honeymoon outfit, I would say, my fabulous tote bag, which says my new name on it. Very, very exciting. So there we go, and that's the outfit. I've got my usual jewelry on hair in a bun. Um, I'm actually just going to have to cut out this label because that's quite itchy and then we are ready to go. We are on board and as always I'm checking out the menu. I'm going to get the carrots and ginger soup and they have got roasted breast of British turkey. So I'm going to have my last Christmas dinner of the season and chocolate orange mousse. Yum! also seen that they have got the Barbie film so I'm quite tempted to watch that for the second time because it's such good fun. 